Hi there YouTube, it's Kevin here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. But of course, as the title says, we are reviewing the Fear of God Essentials, collaboration with PacSun, collaboration with Converse. Um, shoot today, <laughs> it's gonna be the, I think it's the low, Chuck, Chuck High, Chuck, oh man, I'm illiterate. <laughs> Finals got me hard, but I'm pretty sure it's the high top. 70s in the black colorway. That, that, that's what I'll leave it at. <laughs> but before I actually jump into the review, I did want to announce that um, if you are following Vlogmas or things of that sort, I did start posting some of the photos from the photo shoot to Instagram and they should all be up by the time that this actually uploads. So if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check them out. And if you're curious what my Instagram tag is, it's in the description box below as with every single video. But without further ado, let's check out the shoe. Here's the shoe, and let's jump straight into the review. So, as all of these reviews typically go, I will talk about the details on the shoe that really stood out to me, and also about sizing, so that in case if you're interested in purchasing a pair for yourself, you can know exactly how to, you know, size it generally. So, um, let's talk details, because Jerry Lorenzo, which is the founder of Fear of God, is really known to pay a lot of attention to details, and even though this does look very similar to your standard, you know, Chuck Taylor, high top, it really is slightly different. And so, a lot of the differences really come from, you know, things that aren't native to what you'd imagine from a high top. So, to start off, um, you have different tags on the very back. One of these says Essentials, and the other one says Converse All-Star. So it's kind of like a double branding kind of a thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, they kept the Converse All-Star logo on the side, but there's nothing on the outside. Of course, the laces are extra long with the shoe, and they actually wrap around here with a nice little pull tab to both loop the laces and also help you put on the shoe, which I think is a really nifty touch because I always struggle putting on high tops. <laughs> The shoe itself comes with two different laces, so there are these white laces as well as, uh, if I can pull them out here, cream, if you can tell. I mean, maybe if I put it up against the white. Yeah, so over here, there is white right there and cream right here. And they also have black laces, which I'm trying to pull out right now as well. So right here is black and right there is white. So this one's white and this one's black. So a lot of different lacing assortments that you can go with on the shoe. I think it's pretty cool but I'll probably end up styling it with just the cream laces just because I think cream is just such a clean touch. Of course another touch to the shoe is that so you have the general rubber guard that's standard to all of the converses here but the tongue itself is this nice leather that's like pretty plush. I was very surprised when I started feeling the quality of the leather, but it's in this cream, so you kind of have this two-tone colorway making up the upper of the shoe where the leather tongue is in cream and the, I guess, the construction is generally made out of this canvas-like material that's standard to all the other Converse's. Um, up here, you have everything standard to what you'd imagine from a Converse. You have the very durable, you know, midsole slash bottoms. And here, reinforced with extra patterning for the toes. And yeah, the eyelets are just a nice little silver. Yeah, it's pretty standard, other than those details. There are already a lot of reviews of this shoe on YouTube, and I really struggled to think of how I can make this review like more unique and different compared to what's out there. And one of the things that I actually realized was that no one has really gone out, like especially on Instagram too, like no one has really switched out the laces or really shown how the laces look. So at the very end when I'm doing like on feeds and stuff too, I'll try to do like one foot in black and one foot in cream just to show you guys a difference and variation in how the laces might look so if you're trying to style it for yourself you can have an idea of what it'll look like of course i'm definitely going to go with the cream because the cream is just so clean in my opinion um yeah so let's get into sizing so the sizing on the shoe is really standard to every single converse that 
pretty much is out there. I'd say the sizing on the shoe is actually closest to the Comme des Garcons uh, Converse collab, which for me, I wear a size 7, and I also wear a size 7 in pretty much every single Converse. Uh, the review on the shoe on PacSun's website says that it does run a little big. I'd have to agree with them, but like, it's a high top, so running big doesn't really matter. And plus you have like this like, boosted lace fastening system that you really don't have to worry about it fitting just like a half size big. So I would just say go true to your like normal Converse size to avoid any problems and the shoe itself is just super comfortable in general. It's made exactly the same way as the Converse shoe. Like here in the sole area like they have the same extra cushioning in the insoles. So yeah, generally that's how I suggest you size it. I'm a size 7 in Converse, so I went with the size 7 in these, and they fit just fine. Um, of course, if you want to know some of my other specs, in case if you wanted to, like, relatively determine your size, I'm a size 8 Ultra Boost in the 1.0s and also the 3.0s. The 3.0s are a little spacey. Size 8 in Yeezy 350s, a size 7 in Nike Air Prestos, um, specifically the off-white ones. Um, I'm pretty much a size 7 to 8 when it comes to Jordan 1s. It depends on whichever one's cheaper, I just go with those because they're high tops as well. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough for like a relative sizing comparison. I guess Air Force Lows, I'm a size 7, and Vans Old School, I think I'm like a size 8 or 7.5. But yeah, that about concludes it for this review, and yeah, I'm gonna throw these on feet and give you guys some little variation in terms of lacing. So. Thank you all for tuning in today, and yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye!